Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As expected, this is my heavy workload test for the Pixel 8 Pro. The purpose of this video is to see if this year's model is better than the 7 Pro that crashed twice in the same test back in March 2023 and also how it's compared against the S23 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max. I did this test two weeks ago only between the S23 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max so I will use the same footage and compare it to the results of the 8 Pro. So let's jump into the test and see how the 8 Pro will perform. First things first, here's the setup. You will see a thermometer to show you the ambient temperature throughout the test, a secondary phone to initiate a video call on all devices, and obviously the S23 Ultra, the 15 Pro Max, and the Pixel 8 Pro. And now let's take a look at the settings. All three will be using cellular data instead of Wi-Fi, which is more intensive, and 5G is also enabled. But keep in mind that the Pixel 8 Pro doesn't support 5G in the Middle East, but with Android 14 QPR1 Beta 2.1, 5G works. And that's why I'm not using the stable version on the Pixel 8 Pro like the other two phones. But in my testing, QPR1 Beta 2.1 delivers the same performance as the stable version, if not even better. When it comes to the resolution, the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro are set to the maximum, the Galaxy has the highest resolution, followed by the 8 Pro, and the iPhone is the lowest. The 120Hz refresh rate is active on all three, and finally the screen brightness is calibrated, showing almost the same reading on my light meter, which is more than 80% on all of them. Now let's begin the test. The 15 Pro Max initial temperature is between 27 to 30 degrees Celsius front and back. The S23 Ultra is between 32 to 33 degrees, and the Pixel 8 Pro is between 29 to 32.4 and for some reason the hottest area in the 8 Pro body is at the bottom left corner when you look at it from the front. I expected it to be at the top near the camera but it seems like the heat escapes from this area. Secondly, none of these phones is at 100% battery, the S23 Ultra is at 77%, the 15 Pro Max is at 63% and the Pixel 8 Pro is at 65%. So let's start with the first task which is a Microsoft Teams meeting, send the invite to the secondary phone and start the screen sharing. Next, play a 2160p video on YouTube and keep it running in picture in picture view. Then start the navigation to Dubai Mall using the native apps on all devices and finally play Asphalt 9. But before starting the stopwatch, let me show you that the game is set to 60fps on the 15 Pro Max the S23 Ultra is 60fps by default and the graphics is set to high quality, but the 8 Pro doesn't have any display settings and that's because Asphalt 9 uses the built-in gaming dashboard of the Pixel software for this. And I did set it to the maximum performance. Now the stopwatch is on and the test duration is 30 minutes, so let's see what's gonna happen. Before even reaching the first race, I found the 15 Pro Max and the 8 Pro displays have identical brightness, which is slightly dimmer than the S23 Ultra. It's not a great start for both, but let's keep going. After about 3 minutes, the S23 Ultra decreased the brightness as well, and here's a look at the difference in the game menu. Now it's about the same as the 15 Pro Max and the 8 Pro in the brightness level, but after a noticeably longer time. From this point till the 6 minutes mark nothing changed, but at 6 minutes and a few seconds the 15 Pro Max decreased the brightness once more, but it was a big hit this time while the S23 Ultra and the 8 Pro are much brighter. Performance wise all three are running the game smoothly. The 15 Pro Max has the fastest screen sharing, while the S23 Ultra and the 8 Pro are the same. But we should take into account that the Android competitors have higher screen resolutions. One more thing worth noting, the Pixel 8 Pro graphics look weird and not as sharp as the other two phones. This is not an issue with the beta software as I spotted the same thing with Asphalt 9 on the stable version too. But anyways, let's keep going. And at the 9 minutes and 16 seconds mark, the iPhone crashed and locked the phone. And there is a notification on the lock screen saying, Maps will no longer keep your screen on to allow your phone to cool down, which is somehow a thermal warning. This is something that I didn't notice or talk about in my previous video, but thanks to your comments that did help me see it. I will consider this as a failure, but I will continue anyways. Thankfully, the game and everything else is still running, but the display was even dimmer. I took a quick temperature reading and it maxed out at 47 degrees Celsius. 
Shortly after, the performance also got a big hit and the iPhone started to lag as expected with a lot of dropped frames while the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro are still fine. It's also worth mentioning that the S23 Ultra had its second brightness drop at 9 minutes and 44 seconds in a set of 6 minutes and 2 seconds like the iPhone, while the Pixel 8 Pro didn't do a second brightness drop just yet. And that's why it's the brightest across all of them, which is totally unexpected. <laughs> After 12 minutes and 35 seconds, the 8 Pro finally had its second brightness drop and now it matches the S23 Ultra, but both are still brighter than the iPhone. Plus, the game on the iPhone was laggy and not as playable as the other two. So let's fast forward 5 minutes to see what's gonna happen. Here is a quick look at the performance after 18 minutes. Nothing changed so far, still the 15 Pro Max is a bit laggy with the darkest display. The S23 Ultra and the 8 Pro are delivering the same performance but with better graphics on the Samsung side. And here is another look after 25 minutes. Surprisingly, the 15 Pro Max started to perform well at this point but it's not as smooth as the S23 Ultra or the Pixel 8 Pro but not too bad. Now the 30 minutes are over and here is one final look before ending the test. And still nothing changed. So let's jump right away to the numbers. Starting with a quick temperature reading, the S23 Ultra was between 45 something to 46.2. The 15 Pro Max showed 49 and 50 degrees briefly at certain spots, but the rest of the body maxed out at 45 degrees, and the Pixel 8 Pro maxed out at 46.7 at the bottom left corner, while the rest of the body ranged between 42 to 45. So it's a win for the S23 Ultra, followed by the Pixel 8 Pro, and the 15 Pro Max comes third. Performance-wise, the S23 Ultra and the 8 Pro completed the test without any crashes versus one crash on the iPhone side. When it comes to the brightness, the 8 Pro and the S23 Ultra were neck to neck. The Samsung was brighter at the first three minutes, but the 8 Pro took the lead for a few minutes as well halfway through the test, while the iPhone display was the darkest. All delivered a poor screen sharing performance but the iPhone was the best. On the other side, the S23 Ultra has the highest resolution followed by the Pixel and the iPhone comes third. When it comes to the graphics quality, the Galaxy and the iPhone were equally good and noticeably better than the Pixel 8 Pro. And lastly, the S23 Ultra consumed 13% battery going from 77 to 64. The 15 Pro Max consumed 12% going from 63 to 51. And the Pixel 8 Pro lost 15% going from 65 to 50. As usual, the overall win goes to the S23 Ultra. But it's a bit hard to compare between the Pixel and the iPhone. It seems like Google tuned down the Pixel 8 Pro GPU performance to keep the thermals within average, and I'm saying that because the same game on my Pixel 7 Pro has noticeably better graphics and the frame rate which matches what I see on the iPhone and the Samsung. So I will keep the second and third ranking to your own judgment, but the S23 Ultra is the phone that delivers either under stress or normal usage. So that's pretty much it for today, that was my heavy workload test between the Pixel 8 Pro, the 15 Pro Max, and the S23 Ultra, and see you in the next video.